Hello, hello, everybody. Hope you're all having... I almost said most excellent. I'm gonna say it anyway. Hope you're all having a most excellent evening. <laughs> 
How's it going? Mini Minotaur. Shaylind. Curly Whirly. Koreu. Dollar Cave Shalub. Rutkuchen. Avi and Haas. SRF. Hit People Guy. Commander. Adonis Incarnate. Most valued supporters. It says continued support of the XCOM project. I had to sit through an advertisement in 2020. Oh my goodness gracious. Advertisements in current year. Unacceptable. Get that Twitch Prime. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think I originally said I was uh, was going to do the ladder streak. That's before I knew I was delaying stream. Uh, kind of like shuffling up the the stream schedule this week to accommodate real life. Uh, is there some big stuff going on? Uh, and part of that is that we're going to be swapping the Saturday and... Uh, swapping the normal Saturday stream with the day off that's usually on Friday. So we're going to be live tomorrow. On Friday evening, which we're usually not. And I'll probably be doing more Ladder Streak then. Um, but tonight's stream is a little impromptu. Found myself in the mood or some FTL, plus it's like the perfect length uh, if we do one successful run of FTL, which is admittedly Baylor hubris, but if we do one successful run of FTL, it should take about the right the amount of time. Are disturbing. Plus, I miss this game. This game's good. Potter Bruin, thank you so much for the five heckin' months. Faster than Limit Break. Limit Break's pretty fast. Limit Break is pretty dang fast. Not as fast as Burst Limit Break, though. Nightmare. You know what I've never had is Nightmare Limit Break. I want to have that. We need that Prismatic Shard run. Name it Chemistry Joke. <laughs> fair deal, SRF. Fair deal. I could do that. Can absolutely do that. Recently just got this game hoping to learn a little bit. Hopefully. What, uh, what ship? Should we play for today's run? Ray, you also want to a, a crew member? Excellent. I probably should lock those down real quick before I uh, before I pick my <laughs> at least until I pick my ship because I don't know if we're gonna have enough crew members. Like if we uh, if we play NGB here, we only have one. B ships we currently have unlocked are the Stealth B, the NGB, and the Slug B. And then, don't have any of the Type Cs unlocked on this save file at the moment. Ships that we haven't won with are the Fed Cruiser, the Zoltan Cruiser, the Lanius Cruiser, and the Stealth Cruiser for the A variant. So, plenty of good options there. And power, you get to Sector 5 without upgrading your reactor. <laughs> yeah. Good luck to us. Good lucks. Good luck Rock B, that's so tragic. I didn't get any uh, of the achievements for the Rock B variant, that's unfortunate. Anyway, what should we play as? Tempted by the Fed Cruiser. Let's do the Fed Cruiser A. It means we got four crew, perfect. Lots of people to channel points with. Righty. Chemistry joke. And do. And Koreu. A I Y U. There we go. Wait. I Y U. Except. I just broke my ship. Try that again. Lost my mouse there for a second. Ryu. 
and chemistry joke. You broke everything. You did. You did. It's all your fault. How's it going, dog barker? Rukuchin! Enjoy being a rock man. One of our most valued supporters. It says continued support of the XCOM project. ZBX, thank you so much for the uh, six heckin' months. Looking forward to more nuggets of Spire Wisdom in 2020. I'm sure there will be a great deal of them. Should be a great deal of them indeed. I miss a crew member naming somewhere. Got chemistry joke, Kareyu, Frukushin, and that should be everything, right? Or am I missing someone somehow? This is the Federation A. I think it's one of the... You unlock this by winning a run. So this will be one of the early ships that you unlock, uh, probably. Oh, do you actually want that? <laughs> the the emo, the actual name. I can do that too. Panoko. All right. That we can do. There is still a name slot, or there should be a name slot available, with uh, through the channel points interface. We do indeed have one crew member available still. So the Federation A here starts with a fairly diverse crew. You got a human, a mantis, a rockman, and an NG. Um, which is going to give you a lot of blue options early on in the game. You start with only a burst laser mark one, which is a little bit limiting. It's a really good weapon, um, but you, you really need a complement weapon for it. Rose squid, perfect. Welcome aboard. Uh, you can also unlock this... Actually, no, they changed the requirements. This used to be. Uh, you get this through the quest in the Rebel... The Rebel Homeworlds. I believe is where you uh, complete the quest for it. If you defeat the mini flagship, you'll get this Commander, thing unlocked. One of our most valued pacifist. supporters. It says continued support of the XCOM project. It's a lot of months. 17 is more months then there are years in a millennium, I believe. So that is an incredibly long time. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the other thing that this ship starts with that's really cool is the artillery beam. You have your own special system that periodically fires a mega laser that pierces through shields uh, and will tear your opponents apart. And this is part of the achievements for uh, for this ship. We want to complete two of the three achievements to get the C variant unlocked at some point during this run. But let's just get going here. Ship is a little bit awkwardly laid out. The vents are on the extreme ends of the ship. So fires that are in the middle of the ship are a little hard to deal with. And I think because of that, we're going to... Swap the NG crew member with the Rockman. Have the Rockman be centrally located here. Um, do I want a Mantis pilot? No, right? Do I want a Mantis on engines? I think I want the NG on engines. Swap everybody around here. So, achievements for this ship are to destroy an enemy ship with only the artillery beam while taking no hull damage. That's not too hard to do. Um, use our crew in four blue event choices by Sector 5. A bit random whether you're, you're able, enabled to do that or not, but uh, with the starting crew it's not too bad. You do get a lot of blue options with this diverse crew. Or get to Sector 5 without upgrading our weapons system, which... That's, uh, that's a big ask. 
We are not playing with any mods. This is completely vanilla FTL that I am playing. I want to go up this way? No, I'll go this way. We'll go this way. Looks like this beacon is home to a rebel checkpoint. They're stopping and searching any ship that passes through. Well, I'm going to pass through their shields with my bullets. And we'll see how they feel about that. Let's go in your wreck. So targeting our enemy's weapons here, is, as, as long as we have only one bubble of shields on this ship, we're uh, quite vulnerable to enemies with more than an, a single shot themselves. But if we can keep their weapons down long enough, the artillery beam, this, uh, this bar here that's charging, is our ship's special weapon, and it's going to completely tear them in half when it hits. Hopefully. Okay, almost tore them in half. Almost tore them in half. Beat 810 for the first time using Ironclad and Mayhem. Congrats, Gerasite. It's a great accomplishment. Ship explodes, leaving behind something, something useful scrap material. Always good to have. Always good to have. RPG ship drifting in space. We'll tail them. They want a trade of 10 fuel for four missiles? That's a ridiculous trade. 10 fuel? I don't even have a use for missiles. Give me that. How long am I streaming for tonight? We should be live for at least three hours. Hopefully four. But probably not longer than that. Too early to go to store. Distress beacons have a good chance of giving us blue options to work towards that achievement. A Fiji ship drifting in space. Fleeing the rebel advance and right out of fuel. Let's board and investigate. As we approach the ship, the other ship's transponders power up and our decks swarm with now cannibalistic refugees who are very hungry. It seems. Hungry for blood! We'll vent them into the medbay. One of the most effective ways to deal with orders is uh, control where they go by emptying rooms of oxygen. I did get a point of hole damage though because I didn't vent quickly enough. What's going on? Because I forgot to turn off the O2. There we go. Had I done that a little bit better, I would have been able to prevent that one point of damage, but this is fine. This is fine. Fix my stuff. It's all part of my plan to get training XP on repairing. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Federation encrypted signals being broadcast from a planet. Investigate! It's a cache of supplies. A lot of supplies, too. 20 scrap for free is... Really nice in Sector 1. Very much happy with that. Automated Rebel Scout attacking a refueling outpost. They might give fuel Commander, to us. One of our most Wouldn't that be nice? Supporters. It says continued support of the XCOM project. So I uh, just did a little trick there to avoid taking damage against this ship. They've got an ion weapon that will disable my shields if it connects with the shields, and a beam weapon that um, does a fair bit of damage, but only if it does not, uh, but is completely blocked by shields. So if I temporarily depower the shields when the, when the ion's going to hit, although it can of course just hit the shield room anyway, and then, uh, then bad things happen. But uh, by dropping, by timing the uh, the dropping of the shields like that, we can avoid uh, damage sometimes. Didn't quite work out like that. Time. 
Uh, the timing of that one was such that I don't think I could get away with it. Big oof. Please stop doing this to me. There we go. There we go. Okay. I have the problem under control now. Hiya, yeah, Jinkei! Thank you so much for those six months of Tier 1 support. I can appreciate. I can appreciate. Cool. That was what we can. Contact the outpost. They give us fuel and scrap. And everything is great. Probably just going to go ahead and put immediately our first 50 scrap into level 2 shields here. It's my opening move on most ships in FTL, because it makes you so much safer. Um to just have the additional shields. We can even disable the uh, artillery beam if we need to. To find the power, or we can turn off the oxygen to power the artillery beam. For a small fee, they'll let us go on our way. And exa exactly for stuff like this, we're grateful for our upgraded shields here. Two bars will protect us against a level two, a uh, uh, level one flak and a heavy laser a lot more effectively. Uh-oh, that's not the room I wanted to get hit in. Please fix that before the heavy laser fires. Oh right, we had buffer point, never mind, we're good. Hooray! How's it going, Bows and Duros? Take these and leave us to our shame? Hmm. Take your shame and leave me to your scrap, how about? Substantial collection of useful scrap material. I grab another point in power, because we are stretched thin at the moment. How's it going, Mr. Bajangles? Dicey Dungeons is 30% off. You should grab it. Dicey Dungeons is great. Super adorable, super fun. Super good time. To get maximum scrap, is it true that you send a crew over to kill instead of attacking? Uh, you will, on average, you're not guaranteed to get better rewards, but you will, on average, get significantly better rewards if you can kill all of the crew on board the enemy ship. Uh, and that may involve sending your crew over there, but there are a number of ways to get to uh, do this even without anti-crew weaponry of any kind. Um, attacking the oxygen system, targeting medbay, creating breaches, starting fires. There's a, there's a lot of ways uh, to kill crew, but all of them will, will yeah, lead, uh, lead to better rewards. Ever heard of the Gemcraft series? Is that a tower defense game? I think that was a tower defense game, right? Rose Squid wants a dad joke. Why did the Rockman crew member go on strike? Because the captain was taking him for granted. Oh my, there's a flak one here. But we can't afford it, no matter what. I have no money. So this, this amazing shop is not something I can take advantage of. This one releases tomorrow, that's awesome. I hope it's good. It's been a long time since I've played anything in that van. There's another store here, I guess we're definitely going this way then. Might lose a crew here. We didn't. We sure didn't. We manually searched the wreckage, and most of the debris is hardly usable even to scrap. However, we find an intact weapon. It can be mounted onto the ship, the Hull Smasher Laser Mark II. That's what it's called. It's a uh, three-power laser. Pretty good. 
This does a ton of damage to rooms without systems in it, and has a chance to breach. Um, so it's a it's a pretty cool laser weapon. Um, will pair really really well with the burst laser if we choose to upgrade our weapons, which we will probably do at some point. Attack the ship! Um, oh, here's our uh, here's our achievement. So this ship can't hurt cannot hurt us. I'm willing to spend a little bit of time here. We get an achievement if we can destroy this vessel using only the artillery beam without taking any damage. And all we need to do is wait. Oh, does uh, Twinges mod up the breach chance on the whole Smasher laser? I should try Twinges balance mod. Probably gonna take about two shots. Question mark. Yeah, two shots. <laughs> you just pretend chemist is named after you. Hey, it works. If it works, it works, check out. Are there any decent mods for FTL? Yeah, I would say so. There are quality of life ones like the uh, Rebel Fleet Pursuit Indicator. Um, and there's one that can speed up time. So if you want to, if you want to do stuff like crew training, but you don't want to wait significant amounts of real time to do it, you can speed up the game. Um, so that would be a really nice quality of mod thing to have. Um, there's also Twinge's Balance mod, legendary Dark Twinge. Um, created a mod, pretty small mod, just tweaking some of the things he felt were more unbalanced in this game. in the box. Another weapon, Ion Blast. Cool. Ion Blast is a nice little weapon. Only takes one power um, and is capable of disabling an enemy system for five seconds with a charge time of eight seconds. An Ion Blast Mark 1 on its own can't really do a whole lot, but if you pair two of them together, like for example the Zoltan B has, uh, you can really wreak some havoc with that. Another potential double reward. Intervene to depend, depend, defend the outpost. Level two shields, we should be pretty safe here too. And yeah, Captain's Mod. Captain's Mod is a thing that adds a ton of different weapons, enemies, encounters, etc. to FTL. You want just like tons and tons of stuff? That would be one to check out too. I personally found Captain Mo Captain's Mod to lean more towards the quantity side of the uh, quantity versus quality scale, but if that's what you're looking for, I'm sure you'll like it. This is just good old-fashioned FTL with no mods, that's right. Not, not a single modification to be found right now. Zorp! Easy to forget the uh, artillery beam exists with how long its charge time is. Um, which has on more than one occasion led to me trying to kill an enemy crew, um, forgetting I had the beam charged and then slicing their ship in half while I was attempting to kill the crew. Hey, more fuel, more scrap. What a bountiful Sector 1 that we've had. A gloriously bountiful Sector 1. I might be able to jump to the store and back. I can definitely jump to here and back and get... We have extra fuel, so I should... I should explore a little bit more. There's definitely the poten potential for a dive here. I would have to upgrade my engines significantly, but it would be quite safe to, uh, to dive here. Diving 
when the exit beacon is in a nebula is generally very safe. Because um, encountering a rebel ship in nebulas does not come with the support of an anti-ship battery. And so you can usually get away from them quite safely with minimal damage. So let's, let's do that. That is going to necessitate an engine's upgrade, but I'm okay with that. Something you want to invest in anyway. They have a halberd beam here. That's a pretty good weapon. Hacking's good too. Hacking is very good. We can sell the Ion Blast for 15, the Hole Laser for 37, or the Burst Laser for 40. We don't want to do that, though. Do I want any of these guns? Slash, do I want to sell any of mine? Slash, do I want to try to go for Artillery Mastery because I don't think we can reliably get Diplomatic Immunity? Let's try to go for the Artillery Master achievement on this run. Which means I'm gonna sell the Hull Smasher. I'm gonna keep the Ion Blast for now, but I'm gonna sell the Hull Smasher laser. Do I invest in hacking? And yeah, upgrading upgrading the 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 whole point of the weapon the artillery master achievement is that you invest in specifically the artillery beam. So we can upgrade that, and we probably will. I'm just gonna take hacking. It's so strong. an ion storm. Okay, the ship cannot hurt us as long as we have level 2 shields. Um, but I have no power to devote to anything else. Not true. Hmm. I can't arm the guns without dropping to one weapon. Or uh, one shield bar here. That'll take out the drone. <laughs> Got him. Oh, that's funny. Privilege, not a right. That's right. You gotta earn it. Okay, uh, let's upgrade the engines as much as possible before we try to dive. That'll let us actually get our uh, FTL charged in this fight. So we're up against this. They have a missile launcher, which is a little bit spooky. Uh, we can use our hack defensively here as well, if necessary. We'll probably hack their weapons. But let's see the uh, charge, too. Down the charge on their missile. Buying us more time. We probably have to dodge two of these. I 
Yeah, I can he there's a little audio cue, the sound of a burning fire. It tells me that a fire was started in that room, so we're gonna vent it. Okay. Fire in the engine's room is pretty bad, admittedly. Let's get everybody in there trying to put that out. We're border in the sensor's room. There we go. Rock controlled or rebel controlled? Uh, rebel controlled? Rebel controlled. Rebel controlled. Okay. So we only took like two points of hull damage for our dive, which is well worth it. We can now see what's going on. And I'm gonna fight this nerd. Plus the fire's been put out, so... That all worked out great. Yeah, it was a really good Sector 1. Uh, looks like Sector 2 is off to an interesting start, though. We have intruders on board, and boy, are there intruders here. Try to vent them into the med bay, maybe. Um, power up the burst, fire up their guns. Could hack, I'm not going to. Oxygen. Okay, dodge the missile. Good. Put down their weapons. Also good. Dealing with multiple threats at the same time is always one of the challenging aspects of FTL. Pausing helps a lot. Um, I do encourage you to, if you're uh, if you're just learning FTL, I encourage you to pause a lot. Um, constantly during fights. Take a look at what's going on um, with your ship, what's going on with the enemy ship. Ah! Only a one damage missile, right? So it's not worth uh, busting over. Only one damage missile. Damn it. Okay, they're trying to get away, uh, which tells me I should have... Hmm. I gotta make sure they don't get away. That's probably gonna involve a hack here. Hacking their engines will prevent them from dodging, which can guarantee that my shots land on their piloting and prevent them from getting away here. Your ship is surprisingly well equipped. Please take this and let us live. Nope. You're gonna die here. Okay, we don't actually need that charging after all. I'm gonna take one more missile from them, I think. No, we're not. They're just gonna die. Perfect. 
hit ourselves a little bit. We're a little low on drone parts here, but that's fine or whatever, right? Not much use for a store right now. We have very little scrap and lots of hull. Usually the other other way around is the situation that makes you want uh, a shop. Let's keep exploring and looking for fights, essentially. We'll pen it with nearby settlements scattered, something, something, whatever. Sorry, sir, nothing personal, but we're under orders to kill you. It's awfully rude of them to do. Uh, we only need level one shields here, I think. They're hacking or hacking? Oh no! How unfortunate. Good double dodge, though. Very good double dodge. For this to be maximally effective, I want to be timing the burst laser until right after they could bring the weapon back online. So that we avoid this happening to me. gonna go okay. Although we're not <laughs> landing our shots very consistently. So before I fire again I wait for this weapon to come back online. drone just gave its life to let them shoot a missile at me. God damn it, defense drone. Wow. The dodges, though. Crud. Oh! FTO can get out of hand real quick sometimes. In situations like these. Our uh, hacking is hacked and also on fire. Which means I can't control the fire. So I keep grabbing my pilot accidentally. There we go. Lord. That went a little bit worse than it should have. Feels like. Oh well. Try to save up for that store. Mostly feels like I need to be dumping more points into reactor power. Could actually have evasion during combats now that we upgraded the engines. That'll help get our dodge chance up. Attack the ship! Hey, it doesn't have missiles. How That's a relief. That's definitely a relief. I'm gonna go for the evasion here. Prevent that thing from dodging. We'd like to up start upgrading our artillery beam too. It starts with a 50 second charge time. With a little bit of investment, we can get that, get that down to 30 seconds, which is way more manageable. Damn it. 
Gives us a full sector map scan. Wow, we can see all the uh, enemy ship locations, which means we can bounce around the sector taking fights willy nilly here. Excellent. Shame we missed these two, but we can go here, 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 hit the store maybe if we need to. Even come back to this one. We felt so compelled. The artillery beam pierces shields. It, uh, it pierces any amount of shields, and then does one damage per room it hits. But also has a- it's a really long beam, so against big ships it'll hit like seven rooms sometimes. Pretty effective. Right now I don't really have the spare... Spare power to use on it. Stop breaking my stuff! Please! Have mercy. Okay, we have a clone bay. to hit the artillery uh, room. Didn't want to kill him because he would just come back. to train. It's like we're about to get our first level ups on our uh, pilot and engine men. Name engine man. Engine man. Unmanned scout ships. Another ship that doesn't have missiles. So lucky. They're two single shot weapons, right? This thing can't hurt me at all? That's right. Could use this as a training ship if we were so inclined. Sky wants a dad joke as well. Let's see. Why did why did the Mantis crew member go on strike? Everybody else kept bugging him. Substantial collection. Crap material. Recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. They hail us, offering us laborers. For cheap. We'll pick a fight with a slaver scum. You can get a free crew member by attacking slavers, or just get some money. Um, if you're like down to one crew member, like maybe it could be worth buying a crew off a slaver, but you're almost always better off taking the fight and trying to get a free one. Almost always. So 
we lucked out with these last couple ships, which is good. I was fully expecting to be facing stuff with like an Artemis missile launcher every jump, <laughs> which we are reasonably well equipped to deal with. The hacking would, would help, but these ships mean I don't have to spend drones on hacking and we can, we can use them later. Also get wrecked, anti-drone drone. Get completely obliterated. That means I could have been charging the artillery beam, but... Can't get dodge XP if you don't dodge. We surrender, take one of our sleeves as tribute. We're offered a free Rockman crew member. Do I want a free Rockman? Or do I want scrap? It'd be nice to have somebody manning doors. Sure. Welcome aboard, Nellis. Possible to uh, spend points to name that crew. Perfect. Excellent. GGs and all that. Stalin. Do that. You're Stalin for time. I'm trying to figure out if I'd put any points in anything. Let's see, 30, 50 for the upgrades on this. Do I want 25 for one point of power? Sure. Bastos is a cute. Also wants a dad joke. Why did the Zoltan crew member go on strike? Because everybody was telling him that his workload was too light. So we can just take a guaranteed 9 scrap here, or we can attempt to download their data stores, which will give us information on the system. But it might also create a fight, which it did. And then the fight will give us more scrap than the the 9 scrap we would have gotten. So I take I t attempt to download the data stores in an attempt to fail, essentially. Seventeen scrap, three fuel, one drone part, instead of the nine. There's only one way to get to the exit beacon. That's absurd. We go here, 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 here. Okay. Rebel scout on an attack approach to a small refueling outpost. We'll defend them and their honor, or whatever. They're not threatening us in any way, shape, or form, really. Do I want to try to, like, crew kill this ship? I hadn't been considering that as an option, but that is an option now. That we have hacking. Uh, when we're up against an enemy ship that... Let's see what their crew looks like. We're humans. 
try to crew kill here. Uh, so first that requires me to get uh, <laughs> null crew on strike now. I mean, we still got the human uh, doing their work. They have, they have not yet gone on strike. Stop bombing me. Oh yeah, I've got that enabled. I think they've got level 2 oxygen. Okay, so there's a fire in the oxygen room. They're now repairing it. I can actually kill them, probably. I may have uh, done this in such a way that I'm just going to end up destroying the ship, wasting my drone part. In fact, it looks like I have. Alright, well, we'll just kill them then. Double reward! Excellent! Excellent. We're going to be putting scrap now towards upgrading the artillery beam so we can continue to be relevant once we encounter enemies that have two levels of shield. Aid the civilian! Save was badly damaged in the battle. Many, uh, most of the crew accepts the offer to be dropped off at a nearby station, and one offers to join the crew. Welcome aboard, Mantis crew member. As of yet to be named. For now, you're gonna be our chief. Looking at the opponents, officer. We're well equipped to uh, handle a teleporter if we find one. When we ask a nearby station for aid, a friendly programmer gives us the schematics for a system repair drone. Which uh, sells for just a wee little bit. Kind of useful to have, I guess. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, crew, crew plus artillery beam, not the greatest thing. I am happy to take a repair 10 here. 20 scrap. That seems like an excellent deal. And, um, NG Homeworlds are an option. We have an NG crew member, so we can do the NG Homeworlds quest if we want. Um, and that helps us fulfill the requirements for the blue... the blue options achievement. Com complete, uh, what is it? Four... four blue options and events before Sector 5. Basically, I'll be streaming until, at the very least, the end of this FTL run. So, uh, probably at least another couple hours. Distress Beacon? I haven't had any blue events so far, but... NG places are... Ah! Find a derelict something that rams into our ship, dealing five hull damage to us, which makes us very glad that we repaired recently. Otherwise, we'd be, otherwise, we would be below 10 here, which would be no good. Looks like I need to upgrade sensors or something. 
small merchant misship messages us. Underground Federation comm channels are all talking about your secret mission. Here's a free gun, and a good gun too. Small bomb um, teleports past enemy, shields, and does system damage, and could pair really well with our artillery beam if we want to avoid upgrading the weapon system for the achievement. So I like that. There's a store here, but it's stupid because of the way it's located, so I'm not going to go there. Feed the civilian ship from the Mantids. Okay, we can just arm the artillery beam now. They have level 2 shields. We can't realistically get through... Uh... Get through their shields with our burst laser mark 2 on its own. So I'm not going to bother trying. Plus, it'll be good uh, crew training experience to dodge all these incoming shots. Like that. Exactly like that. And crew combat XP to kill all the boarders that they're gonna send our way. Huzzah. Slice and dice, though. Perfect. Ooh, harsh. The clone bay got taken up by the artillery beam. Savage. back the civilian ship. Hey, the sector has become increasingly dangerous for friends of the Federation. I think my crew can patch up your hull. Everybody talking about the secret mission, right? Like, everybody knows. Everybody knows. The only people who don't know are the Allied Command that we get to at the end of the game. They don't seem like they knew what was going on. So everybody except the people who most need to know. No. <laughs> Go figure. By naming the sixth crew member, the channel points should be open. So if anybody wants, if anybody would like a name, you can do that through the channel points. The Waffles of Love, as it were. Merchant is mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid him. Better carrying a shipment of my goods is a week late. The fools threw a pirate-filled sector in their haste, and I fear for the cargo safety. I'm looking for a less incompetent captain to investigate. Cool. Got a quest way up in the corner here, for some reason. I'm gonna try my best, but like, seriously? You're not making this easy on me. Two, three, four. Oh, jeez. That might result in a dive. I'm not actually sure. I could bust out the counting thingy, but I'm not going to. Have to download the data stores. We get the data stores and more scrap. Cool. Than the uh, the guaranteed scrap reward offered us. So we get to find out that all these places I was going to go to anyway contain ships for the picking. Perfect. Must have been rich pickings for pirates around here until war broke out, because the Mantis are here. They're all slightly dangerous. This is potentially a ship I could get a crew kill on. Teddy, I can do that. I can definitely do that. As soon as we get out of this fight, anyway. I'm willing to invest a handful of bombs and potentially a few points of hull. Start by taking out their weapons. It's a point of hull.
Hmm. I'd rather do this against a ship that I know can't hurt me. It will not accept your pathetic surrender. Hey Shinjo, not planning on any Spire tonight, but there will probably be Spire tomorrow, uh, as I'll be moving the Saturday stream to Friday this week, and I'm expecting to pick up the letter streak tomorrow. Alright, Distress Bacon. Smoldering NG Research Station, Distress Call unanswered. Board the station! There's nothing there. Everybody is dead. Tragic. Space tragic. Right at the scan. Last known location. Scanning for the lost ship. Find them being chased by a pirate. And that is a spooky pirate. We're going to be using all of our tricks on this one. They've got a big honking missile launcher. So I'm going to hack their weapons. Well, the artillery beam charges, and we're going to be putting small bombs into the weapons. One of the things that hacking does, in addition to letting us disable the system temporarily, um, hacking halves the rate at which repairs are conducted on the system. Oh, I missed. Okay, well, we got a 40% dodge chance. This could hurt a lot, though. Always that system getting hit. There we go. Thank you so much for the eight months. Heck in, appreciate it. Oh my. Your whole ship just went into chaos there. Kind of wondering if uh, that's going to create a, too much of a problem for them. under control. Good fight, though. got him. I was thinking I might have had a crew kill there. Contact the delivery ship, who are grateful for our assistance. They give us a reward. I guess that's it. That's it. Well, that's fine or whatever. Didn't want your stinking reward anyway. Upgrade the artillery beam one more time. At level 3, the artillery beam is capable of charging quite quickly. Um, and makes sense to use as a primary weapon against foes like this one. Oh, you boarded the wrong room, sir. 
Remember to change the crew Oh yeah, sorry. Let me change that uh, <laughs> right after this fight. Keddy. Appreciate the reminder. Dying. Uh oh. Stun bomb in the shield room right before the super barrage. That five dodge chance, please. When that show that one shot slipped through just barely quickly enough. Now they're all on fire. Ooh, actually, I can probably kill the crew now. Uh, hold on, depower the artillery beam. We started a fire in the clone bay and took it out, and they immediately boarded us with their only repairing crew. So we should be able to kill them really quick here. Uh, unfortunately, the yeah burst laser is gonna hurt me though. Let's get things fixed on my ship. And then take a look at what's going on on their ship. You stop. Why is my dodge chance zero? Oh, because my pilot is stunned. Well, that's not acceptable. Stun bomb keeps hitting, like, every important system. <laughs> and the crew members that are in there. Uh, we need to fix the weapons ASAP. There we go. With 40% dodge chance, you'd think we would have missed... Or they would have missed a little bit more. Okay, now that our ship has been emptied of hostiles, we search it and we find a prisoner offering to join the crew, Asted the NG. And I will rename... I will A, open naming for our NG here, and then I will B, rename our Mantis. Keddy, welcome aboard! Hey, Bimrin. Yeah, we're taking a break with uh, some FTL tonight. Off to a pretty good start in the uh, Federation A cruiser here. Looking to uh, unlock the achievement for not upgrading our weapons system. So we've been investing in the uh, artillery beam, and it's been working okay. A little bit lower on hull than I'd like to be. And we're going to have to dive here. I think we'll get to the exit beacon safely, but this is going to be a dive. That's unfortunate. That is most unfortunate. That might merit one more point in engines. Only 40 scrap. Do it. Giving me a peak dodge chance. 45% evasion is really significant. And will protect you in a lot of situations where it feels like you should have taken damage. What happened to my font? What hotkey did I press? That one. See a number of NG space stations and fleets nearby. They're very pretty, or whatever. Okay, that flag 2 is a bit of a problem. We're gonna hack their guns. Arm the small bomb too, just to make it extra safe. Unfortunately, with the engines boarded, we're losing 10% of our dodge chance. Oh. Bart. You help fix that. Okay, the ASB missed, that's the most important thing. Second most important thing is that this flak misses. Nice! Okay, we depowered it just in time. All's well that ends well and all that. We're out of here.
Let's sell some missiles. Uh, with a small bomb, our missiles are fairly important to us, so I'm not going to sell these. No siree. One choice to the NG controlled sector. Not even one blue option yet for crew members, <laughs> by the way. For those of us keeping track at home. Oh, hey! What appear to be a single damage ship is in fact two ships that have smashed into each other. There's a flurry of comm signals and damage, and it's hard to determine what occurred. The vessels appear to be. NG? They look locked together by the impact and can't free themselves. We'll have our NG crew member hail them to assess of the damage. Your NG crew member refuses in a halting use of adjectives and nouns, followed by some animated holographic aids. The NG explains that the ships are using each other to, um, loosely translated, achieve a union. For some reason, this consolidation of ship matter sounds both embarrassing and highly personal. We like to leave the two NG ships to their business. But after questioning our NG crew member, we do manage to salvage some scrap parts around the perimeter, although we feel a little bit dirty for doing so, and they are oddly sticky. Excellent. Free stuff. Let's let our oxygen levels return to normal, I guess, or whatever. Oddly sticky missile. <laughs> Noose fire relic. How's it going, Tom? Blue lines are always best reward. Almost always. They're not actually always. There's a couple couple moments where the game does lie to you. Uh, but for the most part, yes. Got plenty of fuel to spare. We can give some to you nerds. Giving us tons of scrap as payment. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, what a weird laid out sector. Let's go here, here, and then visit the store. There's an NG colony hiding on the other side of a nearby moon. Turns out they're excavating an equipment cache from the Federation Mantis War. We can either booby trap it, which will delay the rebel fleet, or secure it, which will give us the stuff inside. Um, and I think it's usually worth it to secure rather than booby trap. We're paying missiles to get more jumps, but... We have to turn down the scrap reward. Yeah, 24 scrap and an anti-personnel drone is super worth it. My top three tips for the game. One, upgrade your shields first. Two, pause early, pause often. And three would be pick fights. <laughs> if you're given the choice to take a fight or not take a fight, usually you should take the fight because uh, the number one resource to success in, in FTL is getting lots of scrap, and that does require taking fights pretty much whenever they're presented to you. An NG ship in the vicinity, seeing us jumped in, armed to the teeth, immediately broadcasts its surrender. Subject goal, wealth. NG motivation, survival. Transfer of goods, acceptable? Yes, I accept your surrender. The engine NG obediently transfer over the goods and get on their way. Money for nothing. Just act like a self-centered psychopath when you're playing the game. Basically. <laughs> it seems to be the best way to succeed. Hmm. Not gonna was it Dolphin about the whole beam the other day? I don't often end up using the whole beam, but it's pretty good. Hold repair drone. So there's a drone control for sale here. We can change it out for a clone bay or we grab mine control. Mine control would really allow us to start getting uh, crew kills if we wanted to with hacking. That could be interesting. How's it going, BB Tech? I've been out and about, had a busy day, but happy to be here now. We're gonna sell our two drones. We don't need... Both of these are drones that activate on board our ship. The anti-personnel drone helps fight off intruding borders and the system repair drone helps fix stuff. Neither are necessary when you have a crew with seven people on it. So let's get these sold for sure. 
Definitely considering the mind control. You can do a lot with mind control and hacking. Like, a lot, a lot with mind control and hacking. A good guy run of FTL. <laughs> Pick the morally the morally white option, no matter what. Let's see. I like these guns. We're gonna we're gonna take the mind control. Our final system slot, I am sure. I'm gonna fix up just this much hull. Uh, and I'm going to upgrade the mind control to level 2. So that'll last longer and give a combat boost to the mind control unit. Pacifist, <laughs> where we punch everything in the schnoz. Find a secret Federation outpost. They are regrettably out of supplies, but are eager to tell us of another secret base. Hmm, I'm sure a completely legitimate secret base. Stress signal originates from a small indie ship under attack by a rebel fighter. Okay, this looks like a situation we can get a crew kill. Pretty easily. Um, they have a teleporter, they have no medbay. Whatsoever. Charge laser, though, that can be pretty dangerous to us. Um, if we want to actually secure the crew kill, I need to... I think I need to hack oxygen here. I need them to not, like, charge up this super charge laser too much, though. on the enemy ship, please. chance we get hit whenever one of those barrages goes off. We don't need that charge anymore. Yeah. That was a bit of an eventuality. Snuck in another shot while we uh, had no evasion there. That was rude. Okay, they're down to one crew member. Means I can probably just go for a uh, burst laser kill, actually. That'll be faster and less dangerous. They have exactly 15 health, and that's exactly how much damage a laser does. Unfortunately, we missed. I could have mind controlled them before I did that, and that would have been a guaranteed hit, actually. That was a mistake. Not guaranteed, apparently. Come on! Oh, I gave them a health boost when we mind controlled them. Because it was level 2 mind control. <laughs> I didn't account for that. Did that not kill? What just happened? Wait, why aren't they dead? 
They have one hit point? What? Oh, fractional health is a thing in this game. Forgot about that. Hit points are tracked, tracked to the decimal level, apparently. Pick up the bones of their ship and wait for the small NG ship to catch up. Turns out to be very poorly equipped. Barely all run about, really. Trying to outrun the rebels and need all the help they can get. Well, they're not going to get it from me. Get out of here. We give them the maximum reward there. They'll give us an augment. The NG... Uh, NG health drone? NG medbay drone? Something? Anyway, it's a, an augment that'll make the healing from our medbay apply to everybody on board, regardless of whether or not they're in the medbay at a reduced rate. But it's too expensive for us to want to do. What is this layout? Jeez. <laughs> Strange day. Well, outpost being bombarded by an automated drone. These are bombs on them. No need for mind control here. Charge up the artillery beam, please. Try to bomb their missile launcher. I'm not going to try using a hack, though. I'm just going to go for our 45% evasion on the missiles. Perfect. And now we wait. Fire in a deoxygenated, deoxygenated room. That's kind of impressive. Okay, our artillery beam might charge before this fires one more time. I could bomb it again, but I'm not going to bother. See? Easy dodge. Easy dodge every time. This is a fire drone. We got to use a fire drone on our last uh, run, by the way, with the NGA. We did some pretty devastating things to our opponents with the fire drone. It's one of my favorite pieces of equipment. Been having troubles at getting past the ships with three shields. That's definitely a challenge. Um, you'll want, to get through three shields reliably, uh, you'll want a barrage of like five or six lasers. Um, because evasion's usually a problem. If you are having trouble getting through the shields because they are dodging a certain percentage of your shots, as BB Tech says, you can try hacking engines or uh, piloting if you've got a hacking system. Um, that can make your lasers way more effective by reducing enemy to dodge to zero for a little bit. You can also go for a shield hack, um, but you need a leveled up hacking to hack shields effectively, whereas five seconds of zero evasion with level one hacking will cripple any ship and let you get through the shields. Scrap the wreckage! Oh, wow, 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 what? Contact the station once the rebel ship is destroyed, the lone survivor responds, the base ain't safe, let me join your crew. And all of the station's drones patch up your ship. We get 40 scrap, a human, and a huge repair. Reminds me, I actually meant to have uh, Panoko. Oh, you're leveled on shields. Cool. Usted, then I guess you are where you need to be, right? We're going to put the human in the weapons room. Just for the repair assist on the weapons. There's a shop. Do I care about a shop right now? Nope. Do not. Aid hey, the civilian ship. Okay, this should be a very easy uh, crew kill. Should be a very easy crew kill. Our next upgrade for the ship should probably be level 3 shields.
We'll wait for them to bust through the door. Then when they try to start repairing it, we'll let them spend some time doing that and mind control the crew member that's repairing the uh, O2 right as they start to fix it. Then the Vantis and them get into a fight. Mantis might even kill them. Looks like they will. Oh, not quite. So close. So close. But now they're gonna have the Mantis repair the oxygen that's hacked. So this is one-fourth repair rate right now. I do the dolphin flip. Something dolphin does to switch crew places in a room. Uh, I think I can indi I can- I probably can't do it as quickly as he can, but I- I think I can demonstrate. Uh, let's see. So you gotta do like that. Something like that. Is that it? I'm not sure if that's it. You pretty have run out of oxygen, sir. So, uh, what's happening here is that the spaces in a room, crew members that are assigned to go to a room, uh, will automatically fill the four slots in that room in a particular order. So if I, if I order somebody to go to this empty room, it's always going to be the uh, up left square they go to, no matter... Son of a bitch, what? <laughs> no more life on either this ship or the civilian ship. So no matter who I order to go here, they'll go to that um, that spot. And if there's more than one crew in this in the room and the person in that spot leaves, oh, they stay? Oh, that's right, it depends on if it's a system room or not. Um, if it's a manned room, they actually have a preference, so leaving leaving that room will cause the other crew member to move, where no, as no in an empty room without a system, that's not going to be the case. So I wonder if that's system rooms only or not. In either case, if you've got crew like this, uh, and you want them to change places, like I want the the rock man to be where the NG is, I tell the NG to leave the room. Uh, I tell the rock man to leave the room, and then I order the rock man to go back into the room he's currently in which puts him into the top left square. We put the NG back. They swap places like that. Swap. Like so. If you do that quickly enough, you can do it without pausing, too. But it's, it's the right combination of ordering people to go into a different room and then back into the room that they're in. That'll uh, get him to swap places like that. Okay, we have a hundred scrap already, which is exactly enough for level three shields. And you're awaiting us at the beacon with their weapons online. They explain that a computer virus that is wanted for hostile acts against the NG. Multiple counts of binary scrambling, nano dissolution, and variable interference is aboard our vessel. They insist they must destroy our ship to prevent the virus from escaping. We can isolate and quarantine the virus with our hacking system, have our NG crew member negotiate with them, or attack them. This counts towards the achievement. And uh, I remember this one giving us a pretty good reward. I don't remember what you get for the hacking system reward here. But we definitely get a sweet reward if we the, have Rose Squid attempt to contact and, uh, and negotiate, but they suddenly dissolve into nanites. The virus is murdered again, prompting the NG ship to open fire with their terrifying array of ion weaponry. Oh my god, that is scary. So that many ions is gonna shred our shields really quickly. Mm 
need to put somebody temporarily in the engine room until this event is over. Kenny, you can do it. Um, we can do a lot of damage with the artillery beam here. I'm not sure how we're, well we're going to fare under the Ion Barrage, though. Chance is high enough, we can actually avoid the ion damage stacking up. That's good. Yeah, but if that happens. The good news is they only have a single basic laser. Bad news is our shields are down. Uh, do I want to try hacking their weapons? Yes. I have to do a really ridiculous trick. They have three anti, uh... Three anti-drone drones, so I have to, like... Sneak that by with a, uh, a trick there. By... Stopping our... By depowering our, uh, hacking drone while it's on a route. You can slip it past, uh, enemy defense drones. Very cheesy, but very effective. Okay, that beam weapon is not being targeted correctly. Good lord. Guns. Could launch another small bomb, but I don't care to. Okay, shields are back online. each other to the death I demanded. Okay, maybe one more of those before... Bad times are had. You stop. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit spicy. With the ship destroyed, we scrap it and prepare to jump away. To our surprise, our NG crew member reforms. It looks as if the virus reconstituted, repurposed, and reprogrammed the NG host and now wants to travel with us, and seems to have learned a great deal from its time on the ship. So we get Rose Squid back, who shall be properly renamed as Rose Virus, who uh, comes back with maxed skills in every single... Uh, Every single category. Right, just forgot my count? That's what I like about Spire, too. The, the core mechanics of, uh... Did I spell that wrong? 
No. Virose. Oh, Virose. I get it. Actually, I like that. Virose. Squid. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Turn the oxygen back on before we all suffocate. Thanks. Um, so this is Sector 4, so as soon as we leave this jump, we unlock uh, Federation B. And we can now start upgrading the weapons, if we want to. We can hire crew members, but we have a full crew, we don't need to hire anybody. NG controlled number three, or Zoltan controlled? I mean, NG controlled have been kind to us so far. Alright, Fed B unlocked, most excellence. I am no longer restricted in my... Upgrades. It's a good place for you to learn about things you should be doing in FTL. Played a little bit years ago and downloaded recently on iPad. I definitely recommend, um... If you want somebody who frequently plays the game and is really good at it. Dolphin Chemist, I think, is, is the man to watch for sure. He's playing it right now, in fact. You should watch him instead of me. <laughs> um, I think there's some... Dark Twins did a t t Tips and Tricks YouTube series on FTL, but I don't know how, uh, I don't know how good a uh, learning method that actually is. Store. We don't need no stores. Store is bore. We're using drone parts for hacking, so I'm not going to sell them. As much as it pains me to not get scrap there. Don't know a game well enough or an old to follow along with Dolphin. I do recommend just uh, diving into some runs um, if you haven't already, and uh, getting the the kind of uh, basic hang of it. If you've got any specific questions, I'm more than happy to to answer as well. And I do try to keep this fairly fairly accessible because I know a lot of the community is mostly used to Spire at the moment. Let's move in to assist. What are these weapons? Pike Beam, Chain Ion, and they've got a Defense Drone Mark II. That's deeply terrifying, in fact. Um, hmm. Can I kill the crew? There's four Mantises on board this thing. Main problem right now is that this weapon, the Chain Ion, is a devastatingly effective thing at taking down shields, and it'll open us wide up for this Pike Beam to do tremendous damage to us. But I might be able to wreak havoc on board if I use the right mind control. Maybe if I hack weapons and mind control. Main game when I first started was XCOM Enemy Unknown with the Long War mod. And I played a fair bit of FTL on stream too, uh, so very long ago, but quickly shifted to Spire. We're gonna hack weapons and mind control. I think we're gonna hack weapons and mind control. That's gonna again require sneaking a drone past three of these nerds. So I wait for them all to fire. Pause. Depower the thingy. Oh, it got destroyed. I think. Try that again. Where did it? Yeah, I think it went. Depower as soon as they fire. Wait for it to. Uh... There we go. By the drone does not move forward when it's depowered, and anti-drone point defense stuff fires um, 
it leads the shot. So if you suddenly halt the momentum of the drone by depowering it, they miss. It's really hilarious that it works like that, quite frankly. It has no right to. Ah, uh, that lets us get a hack on the weapons room. And then we're gonna patiently wait for... Patiently wait for them to try to return to the weapons room. I may need to hack the weapons if this ion hits my shields and disables them. Actually, I think I can reset stuff by just hacking now. Buy myself enough time to get the shields back online. Okay, that almost works. Okay, we sort of fire in the weapons room. That's a really big deal, actually. Mind control one of the mantises that's putting out the fire, so that'll cause them to fight each other in the fire. Um, and that's gonna go really badly in a second here, as when the mantises try to leave the try to leave the weapons room, they end up uh, locked inside by the hack. And so this this fire is just gonna get out of control. And I think we now have a crew kill because a Mantis crew really can't do anything once the fire's been started. I don't know where people are getting those damn Advent Burgers, but if I find another rapper stuffed under one of these command consoles, there's gonna be hell to pay. Thunderous Knights, thank you so much for 12 months of Tier 1 support. That is a heckin' long time. One whole year. Enjoy the new badge. And thank you so much for being here. Hope you're enjoying the FTL tonight. I know I am. Watching it. Enjoying watching these mantids burn to death. Oh wait, what? Not the expected outcome. They like put out the fire. Kind of. Hmm. That means I charge the artillery beam again. Yeah, okay, they're actually gonna put that out successfully. Rude. Yeah. The good news is it'll take them forever to get their weapons back online, so we can just cut them up with the beam. Reliable crew kills if we upgrade, I think, the hacking one more time. And... zoop! Oh, what? Disappointment. Sheer disappointment. Mind control that one. Eh. Doesn't matter. Got him. Something, something useful scrap material. My favorite. One more point in power here. We're definitely still at the point where just investing more scrap into what we already have is going to be the most effective improvement in our combat power. Oh boy, we're near a sun. That is a problem for sure. Periodically, solar flares are going to come from that and damage both us and the enemy ships starting fires. If I take advantage, actually, we can really put them in a bad situation. 
Uh, I think I'm gonna man the small bomb here. Try to disable their weapon system a bit more comprehensively. The missile launcher is gonna be a danger to us. Like so. Unfortunate. So, the fire has started. We want to... prevent their weapons from continuing to bombard us here. Most excellent useful collection of, of various scrap material. Substantial? Substantial. Um, yeah, this is probably fine. So we want to mind control whatever's going on here. And dodge this missile. Okay, we did dodge the missile. There's some hot mess going on over there. People are fighting in a fire. Missiles are hitting us. Chaos. Cheer chaos. Hopefully before the missile goes off. Hopefully before this next solar flare kicks in, too. Ah, not quite. Almost, though. I feel like we're low enough I should maybe visit a store here. Let's patch up our hole. Your scrap ours, our weapons for you. We're about to raise the shields when we realize it's just an NG trader. Not well versed in human communication. Uh, let's see, we could buy a backup battery. The weapons here aren't very interesting. It would be nice to get cloaking, but we have all of our systems capped out. You can only put so many different systems on your ship. Uh, although cloaking is definitely one of the best. Your best, uh, the most powerful systems tend to be hacking and cloaking. Hacking for its versatility, versatility and cloaking for its sheer defensive potential. Uh, and having either of the two makes your run, especially against the flagship, way, way, way easier. Don't like the backup battery? Um... I feel like we can invest that scrap directly into raw power. Actually, the battery works really well in this ship, doesn't it? 35, we can get two power temporarily, and that helps us power something like the mind control. Honestly, yeah, that fits perfectly in this ship. We'll take it. So the backup battery is a subsystem going over here. When we click it, we get 30 seconds of two free power to use. Which is honestly exactly what the ship needs right now. Um, and then we're going to repair as much scrap, as much hull damage as we can. Um, I'm even tempted to actually sell the Ion Blast so I can afford more hull repair there. Green planet with great plains and rolling waterfalls of little interest to the NG. 
And then we're forced into a store? Unfortunate. Black one here is really good. Long range scanners are also very good. Revealing additional info about beacons on the star map. One of the most good augments. A lot about 70% of the augments in FTL are complete crap. And not worth paying for. Like the battery charger is nice, but 40 scrap for it is just not worth it, usually. But long range scanners are completely worth paying for. Forward scout of their old fleet, they have a Vulcan and a Flak too. That's a deadly array of weaponry. And they are trying to flee. So we're gonna hack the piloting room, I think. Hack the engines. And mind control the fellow in the engine room. Ooh, and we started a fire in the engine room. Nice. I was really lucky. And guys are dead. Flak 2 is super dangerous though. Vulcan weapon is something that is very terrifying. Shut that down immediately. Fires very rapidly uh, after a short period of time. Good, fully dodged. Okay. And I think that'll be a crew kill from here, as their ship looks extremely on fire currently, and their crew health looks extremely low. I have mind control. So I can prevent them from like healing up and repairing and stuff. Do I like fire in real life as much as I seem to like it in FTL? No. I uh there's something fun in about burning down enemy ships in uh, FTL. But that that doesn't for me translate into uh similar enjoyment of fire in IRL or other games that I've found. I do like crippling my opponents with status effects, and I think that is uh, that is probably the best analogy for fire and FTL. Just completely preventing your opponent from doing anything. And I have enjoyed my fair share of blue deck in uh, Magic, which I think is probably pretty analogous. Fight each other to the death. He's decreed. Fires are probably not going to make it to the pilot here. Because the oxygen's all going to run out, but... And he's a man sentenced to a slow, suffocating death. Which will lead to higher scrap rewards for us. This game is so jamming. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get tired of it. Not once.
ship goes silent. We're relieved to know that we're still one step ahead. Please. Look at that hacking upgrade. I've been wanting it for a while. It's often worth it to float a large amount of scrap so you have money to spend at short shops, but, uh... Wait, what? Didn't we just get this event? Didn't we just get this exact event? Let's find out what the improved hacking uh, virus reprogram does. Proceed to interface with the virus and optimize its repair and benevolence routines. After a few minutes, the virus, quote, sees the light and integrates itself in a positive manner with the computer society on your ship, repairing your hull and attempting to optimize your reactor. Wow. The NG thank you for deleting the virus and jump away. They offer a unique ship augmentation. As a reward, we get the Drone Reactor Booster, which makes onboard drones move 25% faster. That is almost completely useless, but is totally a thing we can sell. Distress Beacon's 100% worth going to. The more diverse your equipment and crew are, the better they are to go to. Distress Beacons are usually events, um, and different Distress Beacon events have different blue options for them. Some for Rockman crew, some for NG crew, some for Mantis crew, some for having like an ion weapon, some for having a fire weapon. And the more of these things, more different kinds of these things that you have, the better your odds of getting a favorable event from a Distress Beacon. So we have lots of different stuff. And I think Distress Beacons, as a result, are pretty good for us. Like so. We've got a blue option here for a beam weapon. Arrive at the Distress Beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two big rocks. Anoko and Stalin? We can carefully cut them out with our beam weapon, which is, by the way, coming from the artillery beam on the ship. We don't actually have a beam weapon in any of our weapon slots, but the artillery beam counts, and we use that to carefully cut out uh, the pirate ship. They give us some of their resources and are on their merry way. The amount of spread that you have is going to depend on which of your which starting ship uh, you picked, essentially, Shaylin. This one is custom built to like go to... NGA is another good example of a ship that's really good at uh, going to Distress Beacons at the start of the game. But other ships that have a less diverse crew or equipment, for example, the, the starting ship, the Kestrel A, is not very good at Distress Beacons at the start of the game. Board the station! Your way team reports a wounded NG and a functioning drone schematic. Then someone yells, the station reactor is overloading and they're running out of time. We have a full crew of eight. Go for the drone schematic. The NG don't feel things the same way other species do. They probably, you'd, they'd want the tech to be saved. Your crew returns safely to the airlock with the drone control room, and you put some distance on the station and the doomed NG, or they're blown to bits. Looks like we're diving unintentionally, so I might as well go here before we hit the exit beacon. It's already being overtaken by the rebels. Whoops. That's fine. We'll secure the cache, getting another system repair drone. <laughs> we have two of them now. And a drone reactor booster to make them go faster. <laughs> That's incredible. We could have a fully functioning system repair fleet. I'm gonna upgrade the uh, engines one more time. I don't think I'm gonna bother. Invest more in our uh, stuff. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Trying to delay this big missile here. ASP's locked. 55% chance it blows a giant hole in our hole and we all be very sad. Be very sad. 
An abandoned sector this late. Can't really get crew kills if I do that. If only 10 fuel and uncharted nebula is a little bit spooky too. Abandoned sectors are home to the Lanius, who are metallic aliens that don't need oxygen to survive. Makes them a little bit difficult for us to handle. Let's see how we do. Yeah, no fire kills here, that's for sure. Their ships are completely deoxygenated, so there's no way to light them on fire generally. <laughs> I get scrap! Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the Cohen Bamboozle Ballet. It is definitely... Uh, definitely the kind of ship that seems like it was designed by uh, male engineers, doesn't it? <laughs> it's... Oh, good question, uh, Flo. Can Pandora's Box and Slay the Spire transform your strengths and defense into upgraded cards? Is the question, and the answer is... There is no random chance for your cards to be upgraded by Pandora's Box. However, if you have a Toxic, Frozen, or Molten Egg, then your skills, powers, or attacks that you get from Pandora's Box, respectively, will be upgraded by the Egg Relic. Uh, and that goes for any kind of transform. You've got an Egg Relic that upgrades cards, and you transform a card into the appropriate type, you get a free upgrade on it. And that's the only way for that to happen. Well, my only choice is to jump here. Let's see how that goes for us. Federation science craft is docked with a few Lanius ships, but attempting to understand our region's newest visitors, the Lanius. Although we've been linking little headway in deciphering their language, can you help me? If you don't carry much equipment that would be used to a military a vessel. Well, then, what use are you? Get out of here. So long, farewell, goodbye. Get wrecked. Weak and hungry humans, those metal bastards think they can just absorb half our engines and leave us here to die. Well, there's no need to take your aggression out on us, starving humans. as it turns out, are not very good at beating Rockman and NGs, uh, Rockman and Mantises in combat, so... Rip. <laughs> we wanted to get the uh, achievement, uh, there's an achievement on the Federation Cruiser for not upgrading your weapon system before Sector 5, so we just ended up not upgrading it at all. <laughs> and I think I might do that for the whole run. We'll see. But we've been managing pretty well with the artillery beam that this ship comes with. Which I totally forgot I had armed. Oh, we're not against the ship though, so that's fine. Metal insufficient request exchange! 35 scrap for three drone parts is such a good deal, I'm willing to make it here. A bit low on fuel. Hey, these aren't Lanius. They are just regular dudes with really dangerous weapons. Pirate ship appears to be threatening a small refugee ship near the beacon. We can... Oh, God. Sir, your weapons are out of control. Completely out of control. So I'm gonna hack their oxygen? I'm gonna try to crew kill these nerds. We might take some whole damage here. The level 202. the emergency battery, which I've been forgetting about. Mind to control the pilot for the higher, um, higher bomb connection chance here.
Dodge, good dodge. It's an Artemis missile. Let's a little bit more oomph into that. Good. Ah! Demand that you stop. There's a shop coming up, so I'm willing to take a bunch of hull damage here. But in retrospect, I shouldn't have been. Should not have been. Yeah, I don't think that was worth it. I should have just killed the ship from the beginning. But hopefully the reward will be worth it. 58 scrap. Pretty good. Pretty good. Basically enough scrap for a full repair. Lots of training at repairing, <laughs> I guess. Store is like badly positioned though. Onward then. I'm sure it's fine. This event again. <laughs> and the Lanius are really just scrapping everybody's engines, apparently. Lord. humans off my ship. Demand it. And buy a Lanius slave. It's a relatively dangerous ship, but I think not dangerous enough that I'm willing to not murder them. My evasion 35. These people aren't to the right. It's fine, okay. If I mind control the Lanius, what happens here? They actually send their people into the de de deoxygenated room. Try to fight it. Intense. What's the backup battery for? It temporarily gives us two additional power when we need all the systems active at once. Which is not right now, I don't think. Feels like I should be able to do this without, uh. Yeah. Should be able to do this without using any resources. We give up naming crew. There should be open spots. Let me update that just to make sure. But it should be should be open spots in the uh, the channel points naming thing. Bit of fibber than lib. <laughs> How's it going, sneaky deek? Speedier than space, I think, is the title. 
Use our mind control after our next uh, artillery barrage gets him. Which it did while they were cloaked. It's spooky. Can't mind control while they're cloaked. So all the damage got fixed. Unfortunate. Oh. Uh, hole damage. Not my favorite, though. I wonder if I was meant to, like, hack cloaking or something. How many crew members have I been offered this run? Okay, here we go. Mind control somebody in the fire. That, what? I guess that works. If the AI timed their shots, this game would be very hard. Some of the hardest moments in FTL are when you encounter an enemy ship that's uh, weapons naturally have their shots line up with each other. Big time trouble when that happens. Okay, one more artillery barrage shot. 30 more seconds in this fight. And there's a store. Okay, so we're good here. We get to go back to full health. We get to sell both our system repair drones. Amazing. Also worth noting how with mind control alone we got three of the four crew members killed. Fifty-one scrap. That's a lot of scrap. Go here, then store, then distress. Something like that. I'm gonna save up for the store. Ooh, piece of scrap. Ooh, piece of scrap. We did not fight a war to let a single Federation ship shatter our dreams of something something galaxy. We can definitely crew kill this ship. Because, oh god, they have a frickin... I've got an overcharged drone, though. It's gonna make this a pain in the butt. I'm going to try to teleport a bomb into the oxygen room here. Let's see if that ends up working. Probably not. Yeah. Hmm. How do we deal with this? I guess we just artillery beam it. Means I probably wasted my drone part. They've got a uh, shield overcharger here, so that's temporarily creating super shield, which prevents us from teleporting bombs or crew members aboard. I guess randomly destroying their shield overcharger drone would work, but we can also just cut through them with the super weapon. artillery beam. Okay, let's... Now that you're in there... Oh yeah, super shields also block mind control. That's right. What? Let's go, Napona. Okay. 
That's right, a system repair drone can repair something while there's combat going on in a room. That's kind of ridiculous. Now there's a fire. There's a hot mess going on. <laughs> I like it. Stored. But we're so close to a crew kill here. Is that gonna be enough? Is it gonna be enough? So with only one crew remaining, how do I do damage? I guess now would be the time to like bomb oxygen. I think this puts the shield overcharge up before we fire again, right? Yeah. Not gonna wait it out then. My controller of the guy doesn't... He won't pursue the repair drone. Unless I get a damage system for, the, for them both to try to repair. If we just mind control him, he has no interest in the drone, and the drone has no interest in him. Fifty scrap is heckin' sweet. You get tons of scrap in abandoned sectors. We can cash that in here for some sweet stuff. H2, okay. No more... No more systems. Drone reactor booster sells for 25. These are 15 each, so we have 284 to work with. I like the shield charge booster. This makes our shields recharge 15% faster, and that's a very powerful uh, defensive augment. You can get multiple of these, and they do stack. I think someone renamed a crew name earlier. Oh, sorry, um, Celine 66 asked for a crew member, and I completely missed it. Thank you for the reminder, Lafornis. Celine on here. No, oh, don't dismiss them. Welcome aboard. Go to that much. And then the rest of this we can just spend on whatever we want. Take a couple drone parts to make our hacking a little bit more reliable. Yeah, combined with the a leveled person in shields. Uh, we have a maxed out, uh, maxed out shields person, which is a 30% faster recharge, and then adding a 15% faster on top of that. Uh, means that level 4 shields will be really good for us in the, uh, flagship fight. Which is good, because we're gonna need to survive for a while in that fight. Um, so we have tons of extra scrap at this point. Let us get some stuff upgraded. Max out both hacking and mind control, letting us do maximum shenanigans to opponents. To heck with names! Usurping. 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 
Love this little mini-game that we're playing. It's great. The Stream Emperor. Emergency respirators are kind of cool. Uh, crew take half damage from being deoxygenated with this one. Actually make it all the way back here, though. Have I ever tried Star Sector? I have not. Can't say I'm familiar with that one. What is going on in this ship, and can I crew kill it? I think so, yes. Oh, it's only level 102? I can definitely crew kill this. Level 3 hacking just pulls out, pulls out all of the oxygen out of a... Uh, out of a ship that has only one, uh, one level of O2. Unfortunately, we're just gonna get murdered. Oh boy. We're in Problemstown now. Bad. Do not like this. One bit. Nope, this is bad. Oh god. Okay, shields are back online, good. Oh my god, it's so dangerous. Okay, we can leave if we need to. I might have to do. We just took 10 points of hull damage really fast to this ship. Okay, for at least the current second. Okay, that'll keep us alive. Uh, ship appears to be on fire. Fix that. bad. Were I to do that fight again, I would, um, I would hack their weapons or something. <laughs> Jesus. Big wall attacks, we don't need that. Reed is never bad, that's right, that's fact. Complete fact. And Ion Intruder Drone, we've gotten so much free stuff. Ion Intruders are really cool, they uh, they take a lot of power, but they create hull breaches in the enemy ship and then do a lot of... do a lot of ion damage and occupy crew and stuff. Weapon pre-igniter. Really powerful augment most of the time. Not so here. Weapon pre-igniter makes your weapons fully charged immediately after your jump, so you get the first shot on your opponents. But eh. Long-range scanners could still be useful. I think uh, probably worth 30 scrap even even here. Buy it. Long-range scanners let us know if there is an enemy ship in an adjacent jump, letting us control our uh, our movements a little bit. Doesn't work with the artillery beam, though. It does not. Speaking of, we're gonna upgrade that one more time. 
Why do I not fully repair the ship? We're gonna get some free repairs coming up. So I'm... Uh, I'm missing out on some potential free value. I hack the weapons on this one, right? Like that's just too many guns to safely deal with? That's too many guns to safely deal with. Try powering up the artillery beam, seeing what happens to them. So right here, this halberd beam is about to hit me. It's going to do a lot of damage with no shields, but we can hack the weapons to stop them from lining up properly. Okay, perfect. We got a fire. Deactivate the artillery beam. That fire get out of control. Now we wait. So he's now locked in there with the fire. They'll try to leave if his health gets too low, but he'll end up dying trying to uh, trying to flee. He'll also end up being mind controlled. Which doesn't allow him to leave, hilariously. Wish I could keep him locked in there while mind-controlled. They're trying to power up their FTL. I don't think they're going to get anywhere. Now that the ship has been the ship has been emptied of hostiles, we search it. Somehow there's a untoasted prisoner who offers to join the crew. Unfortunately, they're a stinky human, so we throw them out of the airlock immediately. Goodbye. Stinky human. Okay. The ship has a Zoltan shield, which is a bit of a problem. Their big missile launcher is going to hit me a couple times, and there's not much I can do about that. Except get lucky with dodges. I can do that. The artillery beam brings the shields down. We can now mind control and hack if we so choose. Dodge the second missile because we're baller or something. Missile hunter's more scared of us than we are of it. It's an important thing to remember. Alright, who wants a mind control? Might control the engine. There's absolute chaos going on now. She got through the shields. Not acceptable. Don't do that. Missile incoming. Gonna hit. Oof! What a hit it is.
point left. Wait, the burst laser can kill them though, with only two shields. Come on. i do that before their missile launcher hits me. Please. Oh, dang it, they powered up the third shield bar. We dodged. Good job, us. Okay, that was tough, but again, the, the late game ships are almost always worth taking some damage to beat because of how much scrap they give. Almost. I'm low on fuel here. Stumbled upon a rebel ship distributing goods to local civilians. Fight them! Looks like a potential crew kill, although that Vulcan is definitely dangerous to us. Only level 102, though, so they are screwed in the worst way. Four shields on that thing, by the way. Pretty intense. I've been one manning doors, do I? Oh, yes, I do. Ah! 30 evasion, and I didn't dodge a sa I guess that's my fault for not having the engines fully powered. But still. took out the row too after the hack expired. So this is like going well or something? Or something. Properly vented that. Unfortunately the O2 is down. And their Vulcan is operational, which means we are in quite a bit of danger for the next little bit here. Uh, I'm gonna let the artillery beam fire again. Perfect, okay, that shut it off. Good. Okay, so let's get the O2 repaired. gonna board me now? I guess it makes sense to board me, because your your own ship's about to be completely deprived of O2. Although, so is mine. <laughs> so, like, maybe not the greatest uh, transition choice you could have made. Too. It sucks all the air out of the ship. And everybody on board is probably gonna dead or something. Just one of them sitting in the med bay, we'll fix that. You can't benefit from the med bay if you're not on their team. Therefore, the med bay becomes the dead bay. Oh, but their O2's back online. Back mid base broken. Suck the oxygen again. There we go. The Rebel crew dead. Strip the ship for, for equipment. They had already made the delivery to the civilians. Steal those too. Oh, they blew it up. 
Civilians didn't like being robbed, as it turns out. How unkind of them. Only at 13 points of hold. Reels in a Vulcan, isn't that the new sitcom? Uh, I love it. The time to go to more shields? Probably, right? I can't actually afford to. We'll invest the buffer point. Protect me from damage to the system. Intervene to defend the outpost. Okay, uh, we're gonna be using hacking here. Presumably our small bomb as well. Don't need mind control. Kind of a scary weapons array. Damn it. Also damn it. Also damn it. You mind? Ah! I meant to click right before the uh, missile launcher fired, but whatever. We're currently alive. Just found that your dog broke your foot. Your dog broke your foot last month. Uh oh. Unfortunate to uh, to find out about that so long after the fact, but I hope that recovers well. Whoa! Oh shit! Oh, I was not. Exp I knew they were all going to line up like that. I just wasn't paying attention, quite frankly. That's bad. Uh, we're in big trouble now. Oh, the missile launcher's back? Oh boy, yeah, that's not good. I may have to jump before that. Like, if that missile fires again, I think we gotta jump. Which it's about to. Alright, bye! Offer my help! Cool. Store. Good! I'm going there now. Definitely gonna go there now. missiles to work with those, so I can be a bit more aggressive with the small bomb now. That's a relief, at least. <laughs> How many exit beacons have we seen this run that are just, like, really awkward to get to? What is going on? <laughs> Why you gotta be like that, game? It's expensive repair, but I'm gonna take it. Don't need anything else here. Ooh, another shield charge booster? I want that. I will sell my burst 2 to get it. We almost never use the burst 2 anyway, right? Got an artillery beam for that? We got an artillery beam for that. Oh, 
always have the big missiles. is broken out. Havoc is occurring. Missiles are being fired. Fire is happening and it's terrifying. Wow, that just like obliterated my engines. That just obliterated my engines. Stop offering me crew! Dear lord. I can at least have uh, max evasion for that incoming shot. to stop. Thanks. Sixty six scrap. Easily worth all the damage. Still not enough to upgrade our shields to level 4. Although that's not currently the problem. The problem is currently giant missile launchers. <laughs> We're having a bit of a hard time with. I'm not actually sure what my plan for the uh, flank ship is at the moment, but we'll figure it out. Alright, quest beacon, what do you got? Attack the rebels to help them escape! Missiles! Stop with the missiles! Too many missiles! Too many missiles. Oh, we're being attacked by an anti-ship battery here? I actually didn't realize that was part of this. Probably gonna leave then. This fight will take too long, and we're gonna take too much damage if we stick around. Ugh. the ASB. I am out of here. Just gonna go to the last sector now. I'm... I'm done with things with missile launchers. I don't want to... I don't want to fight it. <laughs> so I'm not gonna. We just need to be able to get to the flagship with a little bit more scrap and a significant number of missiles. But I am so done right now. We're 
fuel. <laughs> that would actually cause me to run out of fuel here. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Alright, last sector, the last stand. Revenant outpost close to the Federation base. Our access codes get us past initial security and an officer sets up a direct feed to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? Explain the weakness of the sh enemy fleet. They give us a hull repair. We need to get to one of these repair stations before we head to the base so that we can get more hull and more missiles. Salaros! Can do. Welcome aboard! And may you live long. Good luck. Is this the heart of the spire? The source of these missiles? Doesn't have missiles. Doesn't have missiles. It does have overcharge, though. Which I don't have the ability to deal with very well. Maybe I need to hack their drones? I need to hack their drones. Disable their drones and has a chance to destroy them. Preventing the overcharge from getting put in place here. Which lets the artillery beam do the artillery beam work. I'll be trying to save every missile I have for the flagship. I'm trying to get away. Okay, we should be able to prevent that with the mind control. They've run out of drone parts. Looks like. their O2 repair there for a second. Uh. <laughs> I'm it's snow. Spend a bomb to prevent them from jumping away. That's just worth it. Two missiles back, 52 scrap, perfect. Okay, level four shields should keep us a lot safer against the flagship in particular, I'm hoping. Almost got killed by missiles, but yeah, we're in the final sector now, and there's a notable lack of missiles here. Although the mind control hack is kind of frightening. Another shield overcharger, which means we need to hack their drones again, right? Yes. Oh, fuck. oh shit, I fucked that up. Oh, uh, that's a problem. Oh, the shield went up and blew up the... Ah. 
That overcharger hit it just in time there. Rude. <sighs> um. Now what? I really can't afford to use more drone parts on this. Uh, that's actually not true. Yes, I can. Oh, don't kill our friend. Boarding drones are a slight problem. They have a bomb launcher too? Jeez. Should be able to get control over the situation here though. It will eventually run out of stuff. Mind control is also a problem. Like, not that big of a problem. out of missiles and drone parts, so we don't have to worry about those anymore. Get the, the uh, artillery beam working again. Heck, <laughs> lasts such a short time. Kinda cute. So I'm just at this point waiting for our artillery beam to take down their super shields. I think is necessary. I believe we take it down faster than they put it back up. Really hope that's true. Otherwise we're gonna be at a stalemate here. Yeah, yeah we're doing it better than... to get more drone parts at the repair station, so I'm not too worried about losing, uh, going down to two here. These blow up? Yay! Okay. A long, drawn-out fight, but one that will be, I'm sure, at some point worth it. Right? Question mark? Question mark. And then I accidentally crew killed them. What's about to happen? 
There, we can never actually use our hack, but it looks like the fire is a little out of control there. Be shocked at how effective, um... A clone bay, or shot, shocked at how ineffective a clone bay is at uh, dealing with fire sometimes. Enemy AI doesn't know that it has a clone bay, so once all the crew members are low on health, they'll avoid entering rooms with fires in them. Unless something weird happens like that. Like, looks like it all burnt itself out. Because the oxygen went down? Oh well. Sometimes that happens. Pausing was normal? Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> Learning FTL without pause is not impossible, but is definitely hard. There's a store here. Interesting. Store is cool. We could buy more missiles at the store. And we could sell our long-range scanners, too. Let's hit this up, then. I probably was supposed to repair my uh, mind control here. Okay, these guys have a missile launcher, so we can't mess around with them at all. Go ahead and hack the missiles. We're being boarded in the part where we're weak at dealing with. We don't need this many shields for this fight. Store is still there, so we can we can guarantee full repair from whatever whatever damage we take. It's good because we totally took damage. One crew member left, and there's no oxygen being powered there. This kills. Yeah. Not using the small bomb because we're trying to save. Ooh, reverse ion field. Trying to save as much. Uh, 
uh, missiles for the flagship as possible here. I'm looking at the stun bomb here. It's only one power, also uses missiles, and stuns crew in the room for 15 seconds. Which can enable us to do some really silly things against the flagship. I'm willing to use a lot of missiles. Buy both of those. We can take the explosive replicator and just spam missiles, or we can take reverse ion field and be resistant to the ion in the first phase. I think we take the explosive replicator here. As well as the stun bomb. Explosive Replicator gives us a 50% chance for our missile weapons to not use up a missile. And yeah, that works on bombs. Not often we get to use this uh, augment. It does mean that we are at the mercy of an oxygen hack. Might have to hack their hacking if that ends up being the case. Yeah, it's like the Strange Spoon, exactly. Basically. All right, let's just go into the flagship fight here. We may end up needing to jump away. This is it, the rebel flagship. If we're able to destroy this monstrosity, Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. So they've got hacking. They've got a very powerful opponent here. Um, they have four big triple guns, three ions, three lasers, three missiles, and this is the dangerous one, the triple missile launcher, and a halberd beam. They're hacking our shields. Oh god. That's a pretty spooky hack. That's periodically just gonna suck our shields down to nothing. I think I have to hack their hacking. And then we can undo their hack. But a shield hack is really terrifying. So we'll counter their hack with ours. I think that's the name of the game here. We might take some opening volley damage here, because they're going to fire at us, like, as soon as... Shields come back up quickly, thanks to our two uh, shield regenerating thingies. They're coming up fast here. We want to disable the missile launcher. That's the only one we're not really resilient to at the moment. Did sneak one hit through. That's acceptable. Here come the missiles. Okay, two hits. Nothing serious. Okay. Small bomb's ready. Here's what we do. Small bomb you. Does damage. Repairs begin. We're gonna mind control the fellow repairing. Finish the job there. Oh. Artillery beam's gonna do some damage for us. Someone's asking, what do we actually shoot the flagship with? The artillery beam is going to do all the work. Um, something unique to the Federation ship. Counter their hack with ours. Should be powered. Mostly missed. Okay, everybody in that room gets stunned. Okay, we keep missing. Ooh, hacking is not... Hacking is not doing what I need to do right now. Okay, the missile launcher is down. That's all that matters for the moment.
There's a fire in the cloaking room. That's interesting. Uh, something you can do when there's fires is drop a stun bomb, which will stun any crew attempting to put out the fire. And that works real good, as it turns out. Okay, they are rehacking us. It's fine. Um, anything else I need to put a small bomb on? We need to get shields repowered. Hacking the door is perfect, so that's much better. Just as we finally get the upper hand, it finds a way to make an FTL jump. We have to keep up the assault. So, the flagship jumps away, severely damaged, and we will have to pursue it. Fortunately, when we do, we shall find that, uh... It's not exactly weaker than it was before. It's only a good idea to let the flagship come to you for the second phase so that you can run away from it in the third phase. So we're going to simply... Oh, we can go back to the store? Oh my god, let's do that. Hi! Would you like to fix my hull? <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, that's so nice. We chased down the flagship by waiting patiently for it to return, and it discovered is heavily damaged from the previous fight, missing an entire wing that uh, the weapon that was on that wing is gone. So no more triple ion here. They have added, however, a defense drone and combat drones, as well as um, their hacking and cloaking were also on board the wing that was destroyed. So several systems are gone, but the drones are now online, and they have a super-powered drone surge they'll be using, but are... Incredibly resilient shields will shut that down for the most part. Happy to use the... Little trick. To uh, sneak our... What do we want to hack here? What do I want to hack here? Flagship is always exactly the same. They've also got a boarding drone that's going to be coming our way. Let's hack the mid bay. I want to reduce the numbers of crew on board this one. Ooh, boarding drone of the piloting, not where it needs to be. Not cool. Actually, a guy in the mid bay already. Let's just kill him. Hacking the mid bay makes it do damage instead of healing, so this poor guy gets the life sucked out of him and dies. died because he was hit by a missile <laughs> oof okay who else is trained in pilotry we're gonna be okay but I gotta get the I gotta get that breach fixed and yesterday okay dodge chance 30% is not ideal, but it is okay. Shields are recharging so fast. Okay. Okay, shut down the missile launcher. I don't need that coming my way at any time. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. And we lose a crew member literally seconds ago. <laughs> literally seconds ago. They, uh, they were fleeing the cockpit because they were low on health and a missile hit them. Such is life. Does anybody want in? No. Uh, da, 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 da. Please don't hit me with missiles. 
Okay, those are not ideal, but those are okay. And they boarded the piloting again. No! They'll leave now. Uh, that's a real problem, honestly. I have no evasion if there's a boarding drone in my cockpit. Destroying things. Like this. back on. Going with the boarding drone, in theory. We have some evasion. It's better than none. Okay, this is going... Guy repairing the med bay, we can kill him now. Then we can mind control. You. So much going on right now. Two gotta get there. Get there. Where I wish I had upgraded, uh. Upgraded mid bay or O2 would be nice right about now. Okay, we need the evasion high at the moment. I need this freaking triple missile gone. You die on me. Good, good. Excellent. Oh, good. Please fix that hull breach. Please and thank you. I need oxygen powered too. That. Save me. Two Mantis is trying to repair a whole breach. That's not a good idea, generally. But here we are. Stay there. Oh, that's a lot of whole damage we took in very quick success. Shoot. Wow. What a catastrophic timing. That was. Unfortunate. Wow, double wow. More catastrophic timing. We're out of here as soon as the... As soon as the artillery beam charges, we're out of here. But there's too much system damage right now. Come on, come on, come on. Get me out of here, yes! Okay. That doesn't bode well for the final phase. Uh, but we do finally have control of the situation again. God. That was going so well until it didn't. Damn. If the boarding drone hadn't got for the cockpit, that would have been so much smoother from the very beginning. But that we got boarded in the cockpit twice was disaster. Total disaster. Oof. Lost two crew there. The flagship lost a lot of crew too, though. Unfortunately, I don't think I can go back to that uh, shop again.
a store no longer exists. We have to finish the flagship with this much hull. Which I think we have a chance at doing. Final phase is gonna be hard. We have no way to dodge the missiles. Reliably. Uh, they have a super shield. Their bombs are useless against, for the most part. We'll see how this goes. Alright, who's still alive? And who's got what ranks? So our pilot is dead. Um, Virus, you're promoted to pilot. Selene, you're on engines, I guess. Okay. So we're gonna be boarded. So we can upgrade. Piloting? Good luck to us. This is not impossible by any means. We're gonna need a little bit of luck though. They have a mind control for the third phase. We're just gonna use our own mind control to counter that. We have to get rid of the super shields, first and foremost. Uh, and deal with borders. It's a good place for borders to be. Fuck. I think they'd stay in the mid-bay. So we're really at the mercy of this missile, the dodge chances on the triple missiles for, until we can get the, uh, until we can get the super shield down. And so if we just fail to dodge these, we will die. We'll see what happens. That's it then. GG. We got really close. I think we would have made it if it wasn't for that uh, last barrage in the previous phase. GG. GG. That was a close one. I'll take it. Yeah, what a funky shit. We never upgraded weapons the entire run and we still got all the way to the nearly very end. I'll take it. I will definitely take it. GG, everybody. Alrighty, well, that is going to do it for me tonight. I wanted to say... Oops, didn't mean to actually like, quit FTL entirely there. But I wanted to say thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll be back tomorrow on Friday. We still get the achievement, yep. So we still have the Federation B unlocked, and honestly, that's what mattered. So I'll take that as a, a successful run in that we un unlocked a new ship to play with. And yeah, all we needed was cloaking. I think I agree with that, the shiny one. All we needed was cloaking, or a way to get through the super shield really quickly. We could have survived with that, too. But uh, that, having to wait several cycles, not going to do it. Just not going to cut it. Anyway, like I said, we'll be back tomorrow, Friday. Probably doing some Slay the Spire. Hope you all have an excellent evening. No stream on Saturday this week. Um, that's what the stream tomorrow is, is... Uh, in lieu of us, our regular Saturday stream. But thanks again, everybody, for being here. It's been great having you. Ta-ta for now. I'll see you all next time.